Marco Macias. And this kid, you just got to watch his interest. He's nicknamed the Rooster. And he's a fan favorite here from Palm Desert. Nico Macias, Rooster. Didn't do the Rooster Crawl this time. Six rounds is scheduled in the Super Welterweight Division. Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing blue trunks, trimmed in white, he weighed in 153 and one quarter pounds. Tonight, he steps into the ring for the 26th time as a professional. Hailing from Kampala, Uganda, here is Paul, the best Pendle. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing green trunks, trimmed in silver and gray, he weighed in 152 and three corner pounds. In 10 professional bouts, he stands perfect with 10 victories. No defeats, five wins by way of knockout, fighting out of Palm Desert, California. Here is the undefeated, Nico, the Rooster Masti. And your referee in charge of the action is Eddie Hernandez. As we get ready to go, referee Eddie Hernandez. Do appreciate everybody watching on Ring TV, like our friend Ray Flores out in Chicago. Our CHP friends in the Valley in the A1A, they heard Richie Valens earlier, Officer Arraiga and everybody else. Do appreciate it. Family from Nochislan, Zacatecas. Everybody out there, appreciate you watching on Ring TV Live, Yip TV, or film on as Nico Macias in the line comes out right away, jumping on the 41-year-old Bengo, and this is exactly what Nico Macias does. He has no other motor. It's go as fast as you can, as soon as you can. And this he's the definition <laughs> of a volume puncher and a kind of guy who swarms and crowds his opponents. And this is a, a, a tough style for an older fighter like Pendo to deal with. Paul Pendo, born in Uganda, now living and training in Eugene, Oregon. Married, has a couple of kids, works as a surgical tech. So he's involved in the surgeries so he said, I just like blood, so yeah, let me be a boxer for the last 20 years. <laughs> Nico Macias, 24-year-old softball from Palm Desert. It's his grandfather's birthday. And Nico's a fighter, Doug, remember the first time we saw him, he was the first bout here at Fantasy and had a nice little crowd with him. Yes, he like, did. who is this guy? He resonates with uh, the local population out here and definitely the boxing fans who come to Fantasy Springs. Um, he just has that charisma. It's one of those guys that has a genuine enthusiasm for boxing and for, for getting in there and, and, and mixing it up. He walked into the arena that I have Fantasy Springs that Nico Macias, and instead of just walking into the locker room like everybody else does, in his jeans and sweater, he walked into the ring, started jumping up and down. <laughs> He's like, I like this ring. He noticed the new sponsorships. <laughs> Macias 10 and 0, he's 24 years old from Palm Desert. Family from all over here tonight. San Diego has family from Bakersfield, but mentioned his grandfather's birthday. His grandfather said, we're gonna party, so he rented a limo for tonight. Grandfather Very gets nice. down Classy. in his 60s. And he's working the body of this 41-year-old veteran, which is a, a wise thing to do. 
Paul Pando, one and eight in his last nine bouts. He's been a pro since 1997. Veteran, journeyman. But that's uh, so why do you keep fighting if you're 41? He said, I love the sport, and plus, the car still runs, so you don't just shut it down. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's well, it's well, stalling right well, now. It's been a bit of demolition derby here in round number one. <laughs> uh, you know, as he said, one, eight, and one in his last nine. One and eight, actually. So there are some recognizable young prospects like Joshua Conley, Saeed El Harak, and Deshaun Johnson. The very tough journeyman out of San Diego. And actually, you know, he's fighting gamely, but the, the volume of the rooster is really something that's going to have a tough time for Pendo to deal with. Yeah, Pendo's just not able to get any sort of leverage on his punches. Mostly slaps that are being landed as um, his head gets rocked back by a, a left uppercut. And I, I see that Macias is burning his liver with that, that that right hook to the body. This pace from Nico Macias doesn't stop. He has that youth energy right there. He's 24 years old, keeps on going. Final seconds of the opening round between Nico Macias and Paul Pendo, scheduled for six in Indio. <laughs> Well, go guys. Well, Nico Macias, you threw as many punches as you could in that opening round. And he will keep that work rate up throughout this fight. And I would not be shocked if, if this fight makes it into the sixth round, if he throws just as many punches in the sixth round as he did in the opening round. Paul Pendle, 41 year old veteran. Getting ready for the second round. From the Fancy Spring Resort and Casino in Indio, California. Our first time here in 2016. And the second round is brought to you by ringtv.com. Visit ringtv.com for more great boxing content throughout the week. Check out the good videos that Doug and Mike Rosenthal put up together. All kinds of news and notes for you at ringtv.com. And Doug Fisher is the editor of that website. seeing Masias operate from uh, a distance in this round. We appreciate everybody tuning in on Yip TV or Film On or RingTVLive.com like our buddies from San Antonio, True Boxing Heads. We appreciate everybody. Thanks for the shirt that I didn't get. <laughs> but Steve Kim did uh, well, get one of well, Boxing and Chill. Well, not Nacho. <laughs> Nacho is a very stand-up guy. You will have your t-shirt soon, Beto. I guarantee it. Steve Kim came to the weigh-ins in the boxing and chill shirt. Yeah. That's all you need right there, baby. <laughs> and that's what we're doing on a Friday night. We're watching boxing. We're chilling. Thank you, Lon, joining along the ride. And second round, scheduled for six. I think Masias is better served working on the inside just like this. Bendo actually tagged him with a shot yeah. while he was on the outside. Well, there's no doubt. He's much more comfortable, Doug, when he's chest to chest. And also just the way he punches. He, he doesn't really come clean through the knuckles. I, that's one of those things that you drill on as a young fighter to be able to hit the sweet spot of your hands. A lot of trainers will have you do the double end bag and just really be more precise with the punches. Now, if you're in here, you don't have to be nearly as precise. You're just True. right next to your opponent. You just try to make contact. You can see much more comfortable uh, right here from in close. He's able to get more leverage on his shots in close than Pendo is. Pendo pretty much can, is reduced to slapping on the inside. Pando's been smothered from the opening bell by Nico Macias, fighter from Palm Desert in the, the lime trunk from Palm Desert. Nico Macias had a fight for him, end of the year fell through, so on a couple days notice, went down to Tijuana and took a fight. He won a third round knockout. Like, dude, you're, you're fighting the United States. Why do you go down to Mexico? Because I just wanted to have a fight. I'm like, well, how different was it? It was eye-opening. His dad was telling <laughs> okay. me that he's funny in TJ, and he said the weigh-ins were at a bar. It was just a different experience. Different. So you kind of appreciate what Golden Boy does for you here at the Fancy Springs Resort and Casino. Macias we'll is 10 and 0. A step up an opponent for Macias usually he smothers young younger fighters and. He can overwhelm him. Paul Pendle just going to be 
a veteran who's gonna stay in there and trade with you as best as he can. 10 seconds to go in the second round. Schedule for six. Going to break. And Indio. Break. Hey, Beto, check your talk back. Beto? Beto, can you check your talk back? Beto, talk back one, two, three. Third round, Nico Macias in the line. Starts that round the way he started the first two rounds. Swarming, Paul Pendo. Paul Pendo unable to get any kind of distance. Nico Macias keeps putting on the pressure. No room for Pendo to move around. Let's do the scorecards. Bethel Duran, Doug Fisher, Steve Kim, directed by Will Wright. Our ring announcer, Joe Martinez, always here on Ring TV Live. No Talk. surprise on uh, my scorecard there. Yeah, that scored the first two rounds for the Rooster Macias. Just Outworking him. And there you see a new feature that's been brought up, our digital scorecard by Doug Fisher. And Steve Kim's scorecard. And we'll get to that. And Beto, I think it's been a very, very easy fight to call. It's 20 to 18. First two rounds, I just think Macias simply out muscling, outworking, and mauling Pendo. Mauling is a good word. And Doug, that's the thing about his style. He's 10 fights in. I do think Macias is going to have to develop more of an outside game, be a little bit cleaner of a puncher. I don't think he has really heavy hands. I just wonder, how does his style translate as he moves up the ladder 15, 20 fights down the line? That's a good question. Or in terms of the number of fights in his career? At some point, they are going to want to yeah. step up his competition a little bit more. He's got a nice record. He brings in a nice crowd. I still consider him a club fighter. Yeah. Um, but maybe... If he's groomed right, perhaps he can be developed into some kind of a prospect. But there are some um, technical things he's going to need to work well, on. It seems, like, it seems like he's actually experimenting here and there yeah. with some, some distance. Well, he's a southpaw that doesn't necessarily box like a southpaw. He doesn't right. give you that stylistic difficulty. But I do wonder what happens when a younger, fresher fighter with a little bit of height and reach sticks a hard jab right up the middle. How will Macias deal with that element? Nico Macias, the 24-year-old from Palm Desert. So he was in the back. So the hardest part for him while he's getting his hands taped and wrapped is to sit still. He can't sit still. He has, yeah, he seems like uh, he was definitely a hyperactive <laughs> child and still, still carries that frenetic energy into adulthood. And he's got the double tail. I mean, well, not today, but at the yeah, way Yeah, the, the double rat tail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, only Nico could pull off a double rat tail and neon lime green. I appreciate the commitment. Honor that. <laughs> Paul Pendo, a tough veteran who's going to be in there with him. I see um, the word beast on the back of uh, Pendo's trunks. Maybe at one time he was a beast. The beast is gone. Yeah. Or maybe it's a, it's a nod to uh, one of the more famous uh, champions from, uh, from Uganda, John the Beast Mugabe. Yeah. That's his nickname. He said he's the beast from the east because he came from Uganda. And right now, he's up against a young fighter, Nico Macias, who doesn't stop coming after him. We're in break. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you.
Referee Eddie Hernandez sums us out. Nico Hernandez runs across the corner. And the beast, Paul Pendo, can't even get off his stool before Nico Macias is in his face. Nico 10-0. We're here in the fourth round, and this round is brought to you by Yip TV. Watch live TV from around the globe, including live Golden Boy fights. Sign up today at yiptv.com. do appreciate everybody watching us in Nicaragua, Canada, Poland, and Mahabad, Turkey. Y también los que están mirando en México, saludos. Beto Duran, Doug Fisher, and Steve Kim will ride at the helm for tonight's show from India. Nico Macias turned pro in 2013. His opponent, Paul Pendo, turned pro in 1997 in, the, in Uganda. He fought in Uganda, France, Denmark, all over the United States. Mentioning the surgical tech. A, lot, a few of the doctors were surprised at his second job. <laughs> Shocker, a doctor would wonder why you're boxing when you have a, a good job as a surgical tech. It's a strange hobby, strange passion. He goes to work from 6 to 3 o'clock a.m., gets something to eat at the gym from 4 to about 7, goes home, and he has two young daughters. And right now, Nico Macias is making him earn every single moment of this fight. Pendo is able to avoid getting hit flush for the most part to the head, although he did catch uh, a shot to the ear right there, but he, he, he's not able to protect his body so much. Yeah, you can see some of the veteran savvy, and he's been with some pretty decent young talent recently in his 1-8 skid, but Doug, you could just see the first thing on the fighter to go is really the legs. And right. You could just see how easily he's pushed back, and he can't simply set his feet to really fire hard counter punches at, at this stage of his career. Yeah, that's true. He, he can't resist Masias at all. Masias, anytime he wants to push him back to those yeah. ropes, he can do it. Pendo's corner telling him to get off the ropes. Pendo is 8, 13, and 4 in his career. And now Masias is starting to let his hands go a bit as Pendo has been on those ropes for the, for the last minute, leaning on him. He's leaning on the ropes. Masias is leaning on him. Good left hand from Macias. Still a lot of volume, but not heavy punches being landed by the rooster. If Macias scores a stoppage, it is from attrition. It is not from concussive force <laughs> from one or two shots. Pendle still fighting back. Been like this for the last minute and a half. Macias on top of Pendle. And that'll do it for four. Getting ready for the fifth round. Thank you for joining us tonight. That's the Durant, Doug Fisher, Steve Kim, and there you see a great camera view. Camera crew all over the ring. Got the GoPros on top of everything. So we're working it, giving you all kinds of different angles here on Ring TV Live in the fifth round. This one is brought to you by the new Pixie app. Pixie, live curiously. Macias continues as Doug Fisher toward Maul Pendo. And it hasn't stopped from the opening bell. Macias trained by his father, Al. Might be the first time we've had a break between the two. And Nico gets right on top of him. Yeah, Macias doesn't pause much. He just throws, throws and throws and throws. 
And throws and throws and throws. If you're waiting for him to, to pause to, to get your shots off, you can't do that. You just have to punch while he's punching. Pendo trying to pick his spots here and there. He is able to land uppercuts. Just nothing like on that. those shots. Yeah. yeah, he could touch him with uppercuts. Can't really turn over his hook. Can't really turn over his, uh, his cross, which is too bad because he just can't get any respect from this young man. 17 years younger, by yeah, the way. Yeah, and those are 17-year legs. We, we made the car analogy a couple of rounds ago. Well, if this was an automobile, he'd have about 350,000 miles on the odometer. And, I, and let's face it, that's probably one of the reasons why they chose him. And one thing about Macias, has a fun style for a certain level, but you can just see right here ringside, Doug, there are holes defensively with Macias yeah. that a better fighter would be able to capitalize on. Yeah. Steve, when a fighter like Macias is just on top of you, well, what should you do if you're off the pendo? Well, one thing is try to establish distance, but again, that, maybe that's just not in his skill set, but I, I will say this, against a better level guy, a higher caliber fighter, I want to see how he reacts to a jab coming right down the middle. Right. And also, one thing, you see him right there, Beto, he squared both, up. Both shoulders are very squared up, which right. takes away, as I'd like to say, your left-handedness. And uppercuts with both hands are available. Yeah, he's open to the uppercut. Um, Macias more savvy. Yes. Yeah, Macias is open to the uppercut. He tends to square up when he's um, doing the mauling. Uh, but a, a fighter with more more in the tank, stronger legs, or talent, stronger body, just for more talent, would also tie him up yeah. and just kind of walk himself off of these ropes and then kind of shove him off and re restart. Yeah. And see, see if you can't catch Macias with yeah. your jab or a straight one, too, before he gets in close. Nico Macias, 10-0 against the veteran Paul Pendo. Final seconds of the fifth round is scheduled for six. We're coming back for one more in India on Ring TV Live. And there it is, Nico Macias. Referee comes over in the between rounds and Paul Pendo wasn't answering the, the question from the doctor. The ringside physician stops the fight. And it. The, and that is an emotional fighter. He fights on emotion, he lives on emotion, he carries it through, carries it into the ring, carries it during the fight and carries it after the fight. He was actually kind of, he looked emotional as he came yeah. over to the ring uh, to, to, to shake hands with uh, Pendo. And here you see him just working the body of the 41-year-old, well-traveled journeyman, the guy who brought uh, 116 
pro rounds of experience into this fight, but at some point, you, you're no longer battle-tested. You're battle-worn, and that's what Pindo was, Steve. Yeah, there's a fine line between experience and corrosion, and I really like that stoppage. I think we both had it 50 to 45. This thing yes. was a shutout. Pendo wasn't going to have a comeback. He doesn't necessarily have that eraser. And I think, again, three minutes of this, which we're seeing right here, wouldn't have yeah. done him any good. I, I think the outcome was a mere formality. Absolutely. And what I noticed, Steve, after, at the end of that fifth round, when Pendo came back to his no. corner, he was wobbly. Like, yeah. his equilibrium was off. I don't know if it was his hips were hurting or if he caught some shots to the temple, which threw his equilibrium off. But he, he didn't walk steadily back to his seat. And that's something you you got you got to keep an eye out Ladies for. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round number five, under the advice of our ring ringside physician, referee Eddie Hernandez puts a halt to this bout, declaring your winner by TKO victory. He is still undefeated, Nico the Rooster Macias. Nico Macias. Nico. Ma Nico Macias. Nico Macias with his 11th professional victory and his sixth knockout. Good guy. But Nick, we'll be, able, we'll, we'll be able to see him an hour or two uh, after this card, <laughs> shaking hands and with people and p posing for pictures. Nico. Nico Macias. As soon as he gets his gloves off, poses for some shots in the ring, we might get him down here ringside to, to have a few words with him. I'm curious to ask him um, just his own thoughts of his performance and yeah. what he thinks he could uh, improve on. At a certain level, Doug, he will give you Entertaining fight. Yes. Uh, the question is, what is his overall ceiling as he's walking over here? I'll take my place, guys. Good luck. <laughs> Nico Macias is joining us. Nico, have a seat. How's it going? Congratulations. Thank I'm you. 11 and 0 now. Oh, I can't believe it. Your sixth knockout. It, it didn't look like you were going to score the knockout. Tell us your your thoughts of your performance tonight against Mr. Um, Pendo. Awesome work. I just uh, I could get even better. I'm still learning. Where do you think you need to improve? My accuracy, my defense. Boxing is hit, not get hit. I got hit a few times, but. Some uppercuts in there? Yep. Tell us what you're seeing here. There's your, your, your rooster dance right there, but we're going to show you some highlights. Describe oh, what wow. you're seeing here. See, uh, my hands ain't up. My mom would still be mad that my hands ain't up all the way. Right. So. I just, I'll never, I'll never be happy because boxing, you can never stop learning. That's you can true. You always get better. So, but I'm glad, I, all that hard work, I'm glad I did it. Because if I did it, who knows, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been the same. You and know? you said you were going to celebrate by giving your grandfather a birthday gift. Yes. With a stoppage and you got it. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So I, I want to thank all my family. My grandparents, my mommy, my daddy is my trainer, of course, my brother. He's my sparring partner, and even my friends. My friends are family, and my opponent, everybody's family, you know? Nico I'm Macias. Thank everybody, man. You can look at that camera right there. Thank everybody. He's now 11-0. Thank you, the everybody. The Rooster with six Woo! stoppages in his career. Congratulations. Go celebrate with your grandfather. Wow, wait. Thank you, everybody. I want to thank Jesus Christ for giving me for all my sins. Thank you, everybody. Nico Macias from Palm right. Desert. Now Enjoy we got coming evening. up.